Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, September 29th. This morning devotions I'm taking from Christ in our home. This one is called A Bit of Honey, and it's based on Psalm 19, verses 7 through 14. And the author highlights verse 10, which says, Sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. So the author writes, There's something about chocolate that hits a spot and brings a smile to many people's lips. But there's so much that goes into a single piece of chocolate, or, for that matter, a sweet drop of honey. There's hard work, waiting, and the process from start to finish. God's law was given as a gift to show God's people how to live in relationship with God, others, and all creation. While that law is a beautiful gift for our benefit, we often struggle to follow God's teachings. As with bees seeking out nectar, communicating to each other where to go and then returning to the hive to make honey, our learning to live in the light of God's law must be an active and intentional process. The road isn't easy or even straightforward. Think of the bee's complicated waggle dance, but it's full of renewal and wisdom, joy and sweetness uh, in committing to enter fully into the process of learning, making mistakes, and trying again, we appreciate the richness and sweetness of God's goodness in our lives. Yeah, you don't think of that, do you? I, I remember <laughs> chocolate. This is kind of a funny aside, but when we installed organs in Hershey, Pennsylvania, I remember driving through Hershey and it just seemed that I got one of two smells. Well, both, depending where you were in town. So we're driving along, and all of a sudden we smell sweet chocolate. It was great, you know. And then the other side, uh, we'd drive a little further, and you could smell hog farms. But what a contrast that is. But there's so much involved in both. I mean, I haven't worked in a chocolate factory. I don't know. But um, like I said, with, with this honey, so much behind-the-scenes work is being done. That we don't know we just unwrap the chocolate and take a bite and depending on our taste whether it's semi-sweet or if it's 80 percent or 70 percent or milk chocolate what have you dark um so much more goes into it and i think you know in our lives too you know we want the sweetness that christ brings us we want the sweetness of living in the, in, the, in christ um but we have to remember that there's oftentimes work and sweat and and tears and other things that go into it. And it's often not easy. Um, but there is sweetness to it. You know, they talk about accomplishing goals or, or fulfillment of, of things. Um, yeah, you, you, a lot of you know what it, what it takes um, to achieve a goal, to, to experience the, the sweetness of, of something accomplished that you've worked so hard for. And I think, you know, with, with Jesus' life, you know, his, his ups and downs, his, his um, healings, his, his embrace of the disciples and people who got the message and understood it and, and talked about it and went on their way to heal and, and help people. And it had to be great satisfaction for him. And yet he had so much hardship, too. And he had at the end, you know, the betrayal and, and the, uh, um, the disciples leaving him at the cross that kind of thing, dying a uh, horrible death. But then the sweetness of the resurrection and then the sweetness of seeing his friends again, the, the sweetness of the friends seeing him again and, and renewed hope. You know, and we have to look into that past, sometimes the struggles and sometimes the daily grind to, to, to know that there is sweetness in all of this. Sometimes it just takes a moment to, to sit back and think about it. Think about, well, the sweetness, what you're grateful for. And we all have something to be grateful for. Um, but it's a, it's a life that offers much. And uh, Christ is at the center of all of that. Let us pray. Gracious, loving God, let us experience the sweetness and experience the hardship. Maybe uh, the, the, the stuff that goes behind the scenes, the tough stuff. Um, let us endure with patience and understand there is there is sweetness in, in every moment of our lives. And when we accomplish something we worked hard for, to experience your joy in that. Help us to be mindful of those other, other people who are struggling, as we often struggle ourselves. 
and to be with, with all of us, with them especially, and bring wholeness and healing to all of us. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, until tomorrow, peace.